Hey guys, uh, welcome to day two. Uh, so basically we're playing a marble game and uh, we basically want to find out if the number of marbles that he's showing us are possible or not possible. Uh, every line or input is going to basically be a game number and then some number of turns. And each turn is going to have some number of marbles that are shown to us. So like in game one, uh, the first turn he shows us three blue marbles and four red marbles, stuffs them back in the bag. And then game or turn two, he shows us one red, two green, six blue, shows it back in the bag. And we want to know if the game is possible with just 12 reds, 13 greens, 14 blues. So basically, like this first game, we never saw more than 12 red cubes at a time. Most we saw was four. Uh, we never saw more than 13 green cubes. Most we saw was two and then six blue. So that one's a good game. We'll add it to our total. Um, but like game three down here, for example, we have 20 red. Well, 20 red is more than 12, so game three is not legal. Um, that could not have possibly happened. So we're not going to add game three to our total. Uh, what this looks like in code, um, we're gonna go through here and basically we're set our output, our total number, and um, I just found it probably easiest for a quick pass through to just do game and increment it through each part of the loop. And um, then for each line, which is a game, again, so each game is only going to be used once. And the other thing is I just checked the input real quick and there's no game that's like right across multiple lines. So it's totally okay if um, we just do an increment each time. We don't have to do anything. We don't, we don't even care about the first part of the, the string. Uh, and so for each line, we're going to split that on the colon. So we're going to get rid of these two characters and then we're going to put game one inside of uh, the first element of a string array and we're going to put all of this in the second element of the string array and i always mentioned we don't even care about this part we can throw it away it's fine uh, so we'll just look at the second part and then we'll split that on uh, semicolons to give us our turns so now we're going to have an array where we have this value is our first uh, string in the array this is our second value in the array. This is our third value in the array. Uh, and so each of those is going to be a turn. And then for each turn, we're going to split it up again uh, using uh, this time breaking it into the color portion. So we're going to break it on commas. And now I'm going to have an array of three blue and four red for this turn. Uh, and then the second turn, the next time we go through the loop, I'm going to have a uh, an array of one red, two green, six blue. So three strings of that set. And then for each of those, we're going to split it on a uh, space, making great use of the split operator today. And that split on the space is going to give us now a two element array with a string of three and a string of blue. And then the next time through will be a string of four and a string of red. And the next time through the outer loop on the turn, uh, we'll have one red, two green, so on. And then uh, because of that, we know our color is in the second slot. So we can just say, uh, just put a switch statement on that basically. And when the second slot is red, we want to assign max red to the max of the highest that we've seen thus far. And this value that we're seeing right now uh, to an integer. Um, and then basically, after that, the only thing we have to do is at the end of each game, the end of each line, we have to make sure that the game is valid. So if it's less than or equal to 12, 13, 14 respectively, then we add that to our total and then return our total. Uh, for part two, uh, things actually didn't really get any trickier. It's the exact same thing, basically. Um, so instead of adding the game numbers if it's legal, so one, two, four, or five, or whatever it was, um, then we actually care instead about how many cubes are required to play the game. And so, like game one, we saw six blue cubes, um, four red cubes, two green cubes, right? So we know that there's at least that many in the bag for each of those and the output is going to be the product to all three of those numbers. So six times four, 24 times two, 48 for line one. And then we're gonna go through each line and we're going to uh, add those products together. 
So when we look at the code, it's uh, going to be identical. Uh, I've, all of this is actually identical code, I think. Um, and then the only difference is up here on the part one, we're filtering out the games we don't want and we're adding just the game number. And then instead here, we're not gonna filter anything. We're gonna take all of the games and instead of adding the game number, we're gonna add the product and then output it. And that's, that's it, that's part two. Uh, anyway, so I will see you guys tomorrow.